we're gonna do a drill, okay, just a drill. Uh, it's warm up, okay. We're gonna start grabbing the collar, collar, and the pants right here. And you're gonna start as a leg drag, okay. We're not gonna start between the legs, start as a leg drag, okay, like this. Which one is the collar? And control the same side pants right here. You're not gonna cross your hands, okay. Those, like this. But once you're here, you start with your back leg first, and then the other leg. And then you go back, okay? So you go one, two, two, one. Okay, and then you get here. So every time you move forward, you push his leg inside, okay? And then you go back to the same place. Okay? So we're gonna do that each five times. Each five times, you're gonna take the back. Okay, your partner on bottom will face outside, you're gonna take his back. All right? I'm gonna explain how you're gonna take the back. So you go one, two, three, four, five. You put the knee on belly, and as you're turning, I'm gonna face my other knee on his, on his shoulder, and I keep holding the collar, okay? You see that this knee here will guide me, okay? He needs to be between my thighs. All right, I'm not gonna put this knee on the floor, because then if you turtle, I'm not gonna take his back, okay? So keep the knee here, and on the shoulder. My hand can be on the floor, or it can go like straight to the, on top of my other hand, kinda like a seat belt. I can put my elbow on the floor here too. And when you turn, turn. When you turn, my bottom leg will be my first hook. See? And I'll take the back, all right? And again, so I'm here, he's gonna turn, Okay, first hook, fall, second hook. Sometimes in the fight, he can turtle and roll, okay? So you're gonna take the hook and then you roll. And you're always gonna stop with the first hook on bottom. Okay, you go 360 degree, in the case like uh, he rolls, all right? Why need to roll and stop with the, new, uh, the first hook on bottom? Because if he rolls and I take the back and I stop here, he's gonna put on half guard. Keep going to start. He's gonna underhook my leg, then I end up on this position, and then he can go to my back, escape, right? So it's very important as you're going through his back, we're right here, okay? And if he rolls, you follow and stop with the, the first hook on back. You see, now I try to face to me to escape this arc. I'm gonna scoop this leg under. So it doesn't face to me, okay? If I try to put the hook too fast too, you can face to me really quick. And I can make a transition to mount here. It's better than the other side, okay? But make sure like you get the hook and then you place this hook right here, okay? So in case he tried to turn to you, you hold him. Also, you can protect him from taking this leg out too. He can reach my bottom hook and take my leg out and then start putting the hip on the floor and now I escape. Okay, go back to the side. So what I do to avoid that, I will close my leg here, okay? To try to take my bottom hook out. So now he can't take the bottom hook out. Notice that he's the whole time between my thighs, okay? The whole time, I'm not closing like this. You see that? If I don't put my inner thigh on top of his hip, he's gonna turtle, turtle inside, and then I can end up missing the back here, okay? And then by the time I'm trying to put the second hook, this side will hop over the bottom hook. Like this way, make a little hook. Oh, you yeah. Off. yeah, and then pass me through, like that. So I miss like that, okay? So make sure when you hear, okay? Make sure when you're here, when you try to face to you, you go over here. When you try to touch your bottom hook, you go over here, okay? And if you feel like he's trying to touch your legs, you go for the neck, okay? Set up the choke, always. Control the collar, and then you're ready to start attacking the choke, even without the hook. The hook right here, it's more like to score the points. I suggest you, as soon as you take the back, to get a figure four. This is better, okay? Crossing the feet between his leg is dangerous. He can get the full lock, the ankle lock here, okay? 
make sure your triangle, body triangle. Oh, professor, I have short legs. My opponent's too big. I can't get the body triangle. Remain here. That will be better for you to control than having both hooks, especially if you have uh, short legs. Hooks inside is good for IGGF rules, which requires you to get the hooks in in order to get the four points. Once if your opponent is trying to turn to you to escape, immediately go back here and then force it to face the other way. Okay. Again, so five times, let's say three, four, five. Back pass, get the second hook, try to turn in some hook, control, and then stay here. Of course, after you get here, I want you to set up the choke, okay? Grabbing the collar, grab the second collar, stand up on your elbow, right? Take your shoulder off the mat, just like that, and then push the shoulder against his neck while controlling both collars. And now the way I choke him here, okay, is not extending my arms. If I extend my arm like this, he's gonna duck under, he's gonna escape. So I need to sit up, Press the shoulder here, and now I do this with my wrist, okay? Okay, like this. So when I choke someone like this, I go, I bring my shoulder towards me, and I bring the, the wrist down, just pushing with my hand like this, until it taps, okay? So you gotta do one time each side, and then the switch top to bottom, understand? We go five times. On the number five, you take the back, just like that. Okay? And then go top to bottom. Like you do one side, other side. Always finishing with the choke. Okay? Any question? All right, let's go. One, two, three. Now, it's very important to understand like the difference of your grips. Okay? So there's a way to pass like this too. You can grab both sides, like the same side, right? Like you can grab with your right and left hand uh, on the same side, collar and pants. So I like to pass, particularly, I like to pass with the collar one side and the pants on the other side. The grip pants, right? The, the, the grip on the pants, it's either here or here, okay? So on the knee, I have better control of his legs, okay? Because for example, if I'm fighting someone with long legs, I'm trying to leg drag and they start bringing the knee to the chest and I'll get here, okay? But if I grab on the knee, try to bring the knee to the chest, I can pass like the line of his thigh. And that's what I wanna be, okay? I wanna be right here. Right now I can put knee on belly. Look, I make a, a, sh a shield right here with my form. So in case he try to bring back, the leg I'm here and also this leg here will protect from the other leg okay but when I'm passing the other way like let's say I'm controlling here and here I always need to worry about the top leg okay I can pass here but he's gonna come with the bottom leg with the top leg sorry right here either he's gonna put the leg here or he's gonna push my my chest and keep me away sometimes I put the leg under my my armpit then roll inside like this and then start recovering the guard, okay? Uh, I really like to control the same, uh, the opposite side, sorry, right here. I can control like near the knee, right? Inside or outside, it depends like how I'm gonna pass, okay? Outside is always great, okay? Because every time you try to get a spider guard like this, I can always do a throw by, okay? When I grab the inside, it's more like to put my arm like in like this. So I can make like over-unders, you know, I can have like more pressure here, like stack, okay? But it's hard for me to go this way here with my hands inside. I need to push his leg to the floor. And then I sweep his leg and then try to pass right here, okay? So make sure you control the opposite sides. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit him up, okay? So if I try to pass, if I'm between his legs right here, I try to pass like this with his back on the floor. The first one bottom has really good flexibility. 
I'm gonna be like right on top of him. He's gonna be like right underneath of me. So it's not good to have his hips under my hips, okay? Every time that happens, like he can elevate me, he can go for X guard, he can go for leg entanglement. There's a lot of things he can do, okay? So my goal is always to keep my hip outside of his hip, okay? I cannot be on top, neither like past the line of his, of his hip. So I always need to maintain myself out of his hip, okay? So the best way for me to do that, it doesn't matter like how he's controlling me here, okay? Of course, if he's controlling both of my arms, like it's gonna be a little bit harder. But a lot of times when you hear the person body waits for you, either like this, or they sometimes sit up like this. And that's the best grip to do like first, let's, let's say the first grip we do like past the guard. I really like to go like this. One side on the collar, one side on the pants. Like opposite sides. I see a lot of people, they go like this. Which is not wrong, but I'm telling you that if I find some more flexible, it's gonna be easier for them to, to avoid when you play garbage, okay? So I go like this, so here. And why I grab like this? Because right now, I can pass to this side. And I can pass to this side. I can pass both sides right now. So when I grab here, I can pass only to this side. I cannot grab here and go this way. Right? It's gonna be hard for me. But because I have the hand on the collar, because I have the hand on the collar on this side, I can always like bring him to me and put my head really close to his chest and start put pressure on this side as well. Because I can maintain him really close to me. And that way, I will beat the bottom leg, how? Passing with my thigh in the front of his thigh, okay? The same thing that I did when I explained the legs right here, I wanna be here in the front of his thigh. So if I do that, I'll pass his guard, I'll pass his guard easy. Even if he trap my legs like this, I don't wanna be here on the shin, I always need to be in the front of his thighs, okay? Once I cross my thigh, and my hip in the front of his thighs, it's gonna be easier for me to pass. Try to make the knee shield this hard. And he can't, so it's easier for me to pass, okay? The problem is when the person on bottom is like here with the shin on you, okay? With the knee shield, you need to take this out. You see, you can go as a knee cut as well. So if I'm here, I can go like this. Here, if I want, and then start extending the arm and then prevent him from putting the, the knee shield. Try to get the knee shield. I'm extending my arm here, look. Plus, when I pass like this, if I do long step or knee cut, every time I get here, I have a transition to go back to the other side if I want, okay? And if I have both hands on this side, I can't do that. I cannot go here and then try to jump to the other side because the other leg is gonna block me. The only thing I can do after I pass like this is going overhead, okay? So if I have my grips like this and I pull my opponent towards me and I do this, look, I, I rest with my form on my thigh. Here, try to put your back on the floor inside. And then I start bringing it to me. So I try to keep this here as close as I can. Of course, if I hold too much, you can scoop uh, his hip under end up like setting up the, the X guard. But even if Nassar tried to go for X guard, Nassar, he goes on this side, on this side. I can still move to the knee cut on this side. That's a very good grip, okay? So we got to be creative on the way you're going to pass with this grip, okay? So Jiu Jitsu is all about feeling. I'm not going to tell you like what you need to do, okay? You know what to do. You know you need to pass his legs. That's what you need to do. You know that. But what I want to give you here is the grip, okay? The grip control. And if I sit here, it's harder for him to go underneath of me. If I'm like this, it's easier for him to come inside, okay? So I sit here, pull him to me, pull him to me and put my leg here. So if you start trying to go under, I'm really close and tight. I can go for a long step. Can you see my head connection, okay? So don't go like this. Because he's gonna go for X guard. If he goes to the X guard, go. 
immediately I need to hide this leg and then start opening the leg and then I start going for a knee cut here. Okay? And then from here I can go long step or knee cut. After I pass the thigh, I can go for underhook. Okay? So if I grab and I put my head down, now I like to bring his bring my forearm to my thigh and I put my elbow on the floor and I like to push this leg against him. I kind of like do like a big steering wheel, okay? Here, like a truck. Here. And I get on the side of your belly. I get right here. Why my head is here is because if the side tries to turtle here, I'm blocking. Okay? You only can turtle away from me. That's what I want. I'm gonna start attacking his back. If he does that, okay? So if I go here, and my head is like, his head is on my chest. Now when I pass, he's gonna turtle and single leg me. Okay? The head position is very important. So you here, you go here. Go on the side, turtle. Turtle to me. And then I can go overhead if I want, you know? So it's just like, you need to control, all right? So the drill is gonna be like that. You have, you have the long step option. You can control here or here, okay? See which one you like, all right? I'm grabbing here. So I'm here, this side is waiting for me. He's gonna try to make grip on me. I can go like C grip. If I'm not, because uh, when I try to make a perfect grip, sometimes it's too fast, okay? So you can make just like a C grip like this. So actually the C grip is good because sometimes I try to go with spider guard like this. With the C grip, try to get the spider guard. It's harder for me to get a spider guard. And plus I can leg drag this way. I'm showing you like how to pass to that side, but you can also go this way if you want. Or you can kind of like, yeah, you go like, <laughs> you fake one side and you go to the other side. You never go to the side you want to pass. So you go here and then. Because he's going to face to you and then you just say, like pivot. Pull and then go back. Pull and then go back up. Or you can pretend you're going to step here and then boom. And you see, I always control his zip because the starter will try to elevate his zip right now. I'm on top of him. Okay? If I go here and I put my knee on the chest, on the floor, He's gonna move his hips up. So when you get on the side, get on his hip. All right? So when I'm past his standing, every single time I step to the outside, I'm always trying to control his hip. Because I know he's gonna try to elevate his hip. I saw some of you like doing this drill here, when you're doing this. When I get on the side, some of you like sit up, sit up the start, like this. And actually, this is not a great way to defend, okay? The best way for the side to defend is like facing that way and lifting the hip. Like this, okay? That's the best way for him to defend, not sitting up, okay? So, we're gonna get the grip. Personal body is gonna be 30, 40%. You're just gonna play. Personal body is not gonna go hard, okay? Don't go hard. Be a good partner. And you on top is gonna just try to find positioning. Okay, go back. If I feel my leg get trapped, knee cut. If I feel I get between his legs, open, spread out, reach the wider. If I feel I'm not getting caught, I can go straight, knee on valley, right? I can go long step, pin, up over the other side, go back. Just, even when you pass, don't let go of the grips, okay? See that I pass here, and then let go of my grips. I just go back here. Put your De La Hiva guard. He's gonna put De La Hiva guard. Step. Boom, you should what? Pass, go back. Always here, okay? If your opponent's already sitting like this, uh, lay now, sorry, which is back on the floor, you can sit him up. Same thing, put your forearm on your thigh, 
and sit him up, and then you start going to the side, okay? Or you sit him up, go for a knee cut. This grip is very, very important on your thighs, okay? Just play around with that, and I'll give you plenty of time to just play, okay? You're about to like 20%. You're just gonna be trying to act like this, going to start on me, so just keep moving. take the back sometimes like that as long as you keep moving all right like when I when I do judo I think about like the high level judo guys how they drill how they do the technique that's how I want to do okay if I'm drilling wrestling like how the high level wrestlers drills do the drills so that's how I want to be so I'm not gonna drill just like someone that's here that never train wrestling I look I'll cop that person no you gotta study, you gotta watch those videos, and then you know the level and the way you gotta do. I mentioned this many, many times, like sometimes, you know, I don't have a great judo, but I can throw people down just by the way I'm like doing my judo, right? Or the way I'm doing my wrestling. So I'm not like a Olympic wrestler, but I know I need to be like this, because they do that, you know? I'm just like, ha ha. You know, and then I confuse my opponent. That's how I drill. Like in judo, I gotta like, that's how they do it. You know, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cop them. I'm gonna cop the best, you know? So the way the best fighters pass, that's how they do, you know? And that's how we're gonna do, okay? Just be strong in your grip and use your mobility and your own uh, creativity. Don't just get stuck, like try to find new things. You know already like you need to sit your your partner and then you just go from there. Okay? One, two, three.